Let's talk about one of the most useful ways to eliminate a shopper's concern about a product. No matter whether you're a popular brand or just starting out, Product reviews do play a crucial role in your e-commerce business. Research shows that 95% of visitors rely on reviews to evaluate or learn more about a product. And it's only natural, since credibility is one of the key elements that decide the success of your brand in the long run. The Product Reviews app is by far the most complex app in Vitals, so we split this tutorial into three parts. Today I'm going to cover how to properly set up the app and get reviews on your products. For this reason, I'll jump right to the Settings tab, as this is where you get to set up most of the app's functionality. You'll find here a plethora of settings, and I'll explain to you the most important ones. And we're going to start with the sort order. You can either sort the reviews by newest first, or by those reviews which have a photo attached. You also have the option to select how many reviews are to be shown as a preview, and how many after the visitor opts to see all reviews. The cool thing here is that you have individual controls for desktop and mobile. This is key, since you want your store to be mobile friendly. Not only that, but you can also choose the number of review columns on mobile devices. You might not want to automatically publish all the reviews you receive, so you can use this setting to either hold all reviews for moderation or just the ones with a low rating. If you want to be notified when a review is posted, you just need to enable this setting. Moving along, we've now reached the review card settings. This is where you get to customize the look and feel of your reviews section. You can show review dates, and this ties directly to the next setting. Do you want to show recent dates or the real ones? Having the recent dates shown will most likely increase the credibility of your store, since it will give the impression that your store is active and getting hits. Speaking of credibility, you can also increase it by showing your customer's full name. These next settings are pretty self-explanatory, but I'd like to take a couple of moments to talk about these couple of options in this section related to verified purchases. You can have verified icons show up on your reviews. If you enable this setting, the Product Reviews app will automatically match the customer's data to existing orders and show the verified icon. You can also do that manually and mark any review as verified. Product reviews are typically placed at the end of the page, after the product description. But you can easily show the star rating at the top of the page, after the product title, so that the visitors can click on it and scroll down to see the reviews. The snippet is present over here. And if you want to configure it, you can do that in this section of the app. Snippets can be placed automatically on collection pages and the home page as well, where the products are displayed. You just need to check this option and configure how the snippet should look like. Let me go back to the store and show you how these snippets look like. Going back to the app, you also have the option to ban certain keywords. If you're doing dropshipping from AliExpress, for example, you might want to add AliExpress and China as banned keywords, to distance yourself from the preconceived notions people may have about them. Finally, we have the Translations section. This is where you can translate everything in your store's language. With that, we're done with the Settings tab. I know it was a long one, but we're not finished yet. Let's say that you get plenty of orders, but not enough reviews. Well, we've got you covered. You can request reviews from your customers automatically, directly from the Product Reviews app. All you need to do to enable the automatic sending of emails to request reviews is just check this box. Once you do this, based on these two conditions, number of days passed since an order has been received or marked as fulfilled, emails are sent automatically. This feature will take into account all the orders you've received in the past 30 days since the moment it's enabled and will automatically send a review request 7 days after an order is fulfilled, just as I configured it here. The 30 days hard limit is to make sure we don't send a request to old customers. Please be aware that email review requests are sent only to those orders that have changed their status after you've enabled the feature. So if the trigger is based on order fulfillment, it won't work on orders that were already fulfilled before you turn on automatic review requests. The last setting here pertains to the GDPR rules in Europe. In Europe, it's illegal to send marketing communications to people without their prior consent. So if you are based in or shipped to the EU, we highly recommend that you enable this feature. With all the backend setup out of the way, let's get to crafting your email review request. You can add your logo and customize the subject. You can take a more formal approach or an informal one by keeping the first name syntax. This will automatically take the first name of the customer and fill it in. Whatever you choose as your email subject, just make sure it's catchy and makes the customer open the email. Next, you can customize the greeting, the contents and the ending of the email. 
If you want to see how your email will look like, you can add your email address right here and you'll be sent a preview. Let's do that and see how it looks. In the next two parts, we'll discuss more about importing reviews from AliExpress or other review apps, as well as how to manage them. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel as we post new videos every single week. If we can help with anything, please let us know. Our customer support team is available 24-7. Thanks for watching and see you soon.